Alright guys, so I just finished seeing um, River Gorge National Park. It's the newest national park. We got 63 of them now. And I actually just realized it was a national park like a week before going there. So it was surprising to find out. Um, first off, I had a great time at the park. There was plenty to see. I will say, if you're just driving through West Virginia in general, it's beautiful and mountainous all around you. So it's kind of more of the same scenery once you get to the park. So you kind of get used to it as you're driving to the park. The main feature is the the huge bridge. It used to be the tallest bridge in the world. Now it's the third tallest standing bridge. Very cool to see, very scenic. You can actually pay $70 to walk across it or underneath it if you want. I didn't get a chance to do that. But yeah, guys, the hikes, they're very scenic. They're also pretty short, too. Um, I did three, four hikes while I was there. One was to a quick uh, lookout um, of the gorge. That's the main part. It's like a giant cut down to the river. That's one of the main features at the park. Um, that was like maybe two miles, two and a half miles. Knocked it out like an hour and a half, hour. Um, views were beautiful. Hike was short and sweet and to the point. So no complaints there. Second hike I did was, um, was it Kate Kmore's Miner's Trail. You hiked, that's only a mile trail. But you go down to um, an old mi a mining site that's barely standing. Um, it's very cool to see. The one downside is is a mild straight down. At one point, you get to the, a drop off, and it's just 850 steps straight down. Going down super easy. Um, while I was down there, you explore this old mining site. The buildings are half fallen over. Very airy to see, but very cool. I'm glad that's over there. It's a cool feature, and they tell you some history along the way. Coming back up, it's a bit, a bit of a bitch. You know, it's a lot of back to back to back steps. Definitely got my leg day in there, but overall, happy I did it. Campsites, um, they're all first come, first serve. Um, that's nice to me because I don't have to worry about reserving a spot, but it's also a little stressful because most campsites are like 30 minutes away from each other. And you, the last thing you want is to drive somewhere and find out that it's not available. Thankfully in the van, even if it wasn't available, I can just park in the parking lot and camp there without an issue. Other than that, guys, this park, um, very beautiful. I don't think it's like a, it's like a four-day national park. It's probably like a good couple day national park. You can knock most things out. I will say I would try to take advantage of this. Um, it's a huge park for rock climbing. Um, people are going through every single trail and setting up uh, for days is rock climbing. Very cool to see. Also whitewater rafting is huge. So I think you can knock out the park hikes um, within like a day or two. And then I would spend another day or two. If you want to try rock climbing, you could do that or just do some whitewater rafting. That's how you get the full experience of this park. So who would I recommend it to? Um, anyone, families, adventure seekers. I was hoping for more of like a grand, like eight mile hike to the top of a mountain somewhere. The hikes are much more shorter, but you still get to the top of a mountain. It's probably like a mile, two miles, three miles at most, and you still get beautiful views. So even though I couldn't get that huge long hike I wanted, I still got the same views. So I don't know, to each their own. It's a faster way of seeing it. But yeah, guys. This park is definitely worth checking out. I'm glad it became a national park because it deserves it for how beautiful it is. And even all of West Virginia is this beautiful. So guys, check it out.